Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and today's tip 368. And I was just revisiting, because I often revisit the books that I've read along the way. And this was Admiral William McRaven, Make Your Bed. And I was just looking at his 10 tips. And this morning, I'm in that place where I want to make sure I'm always enjoying this journey, looking optimistically, looking hopefully, looking at really from the eyes of law of attraction, where we're thinking positively, we're moving in the direction of things. Because really, what I've found is that if I allow myself to feel, woe is me, life is horrible, I don't feel good, I don't, I don't keep pushing forward. So every tip I think is very helpful, but the context and how I present it to myself or to my brain is really helpful too. And I'm going to say that I'm going to try to word his in ways that are um, forward thinking and full of, uh, like above the, the mood line or the worry line, um, places of joy, happiness, and love. So his first one was to start your day with a task complete, and that's kind of like making your bed. And I'm going to say for me that just does feel good. And how I equate that to like law of attraction is that um, if the bed is made and you walk down the hall and you see the bed made, it feels good. And when it feels good, that just is another little flower added to the bouquet of the day. And that, that I think gives you drive and ambition and encouragement maybe in a moment where you're low. The second one is you can't go it alone. We all know that from Doc V's group and we all know that I've gotten involved with quite a few groups. I'm involved with Doc V's group. I've got accountability partners. I walk every day with my mom. I work with uh, Zara Mahoon with Law of Attraction and I'm involved in a journal group at night with that one. I've also been working with Chris Noggle in Money School because as much as money doesn't buy you happiness, money allows you to do more of what you love, which can be contributed in, in giving back to the world. Um, so you can't go it alone, and I'm going to truly say my journey is more fun, enjoyable, and I'm getting there faster because I'm not trying to do it alone anymore. That goes in all areas of our life. We need to reach out, and we need to be comfortable reaching out. Number three is only the size of your heart matters. I think that's so true. If I almost think that if you think about your heart, when you're feeling bad and low, I think that your heart almost shrinks in size because it's not full of love, joy, happiness, and hope. So I think that keeping yourself in that place of joy, love, and happiness makes your heart full and makes you hopeful and makes you push forward through the toughest of times. Number four, uh, he talks about life not being fair, and I think what that I'm going to go with that one is if you start to think your life's not fair, think about what your, th what your thoughts are. If you shift your thoughts to an area of positive, we all, from everything I've been studying and learning, if we shift our thoughts into the direction of thinking optimistically, hopeful, with joy and love, we move in that direction. Our mind tries to provide us or, or indirectly, subconsciously directs us towards what we think about all the time. So what I've learned in the past couple of years is that my thoughts have to be more supportive of how great life is and how great it is to move forward than looking and ruminating over what I think doesn't work well. Uh, he talks about number five is failure can make you stronger. I'm just going to say, I don't like the word failure. It's just simply learning. And I love, 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 love to learn. And maybe that's part of what's helped me keep going in this and never give up. Most know this is the second time I've lost over 100 pounds, but this time I'm getting close to six years out. So um, learning to love learning and learning to love being engaged and making changes has been really, really monumental in helping me to move forward and to feel good about moving forward and to never giving up. I don't mourn what I've lost. I look with curiosity, joy, and hope towards what can be. Um, he says you must dare greatly, and I think that's true too, and that is law of attraction. Just toss out there that you want an amazing life and keep your thoughts in that direction so that subconsciously your mind is pushing you forward to amazing things in life, pushing you forward to your biggest dreams, bigger than you could have ever dreamed. Uh, and in Law of Attraction, we talk a lot about not being, uh, don't attach to an outcome, don't be uh, putting out a dream and then holding on to it for dear life and being like the child going, I want a million dollars, I want a million dollars, I want a million dollars, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to lose 10 pounds. Just simply be joyful and happy and throw out there that you want to be healthy. Throw out there that you want to lose weight. Throw out there that you want to learn how to live your best life. So be, don't commit to an outcome, but be committed to being happy and joyful as you move forward in your life. 
Um, it says, rise to the occasion, give people hope, and never ever quit. I think all of these are very important. If we live our lives, I'm finding that living my life in a place of joy and hope and love, being truthful that going it alone makes the, the road boring and it also makes it more difficult because it takes me longer to get where I'm headed. If I understand that things don't have to be a failure, they can just be learning tools to keep me moving forward. And if I dream big, and I've always been known as a dreamer, dream big, keep your heart open, keep your eyes open, and keep your arms open, keep your comfort circle large, and keep moving forward. Uh, again, like I said, I was trying to take this make your bed and twist it to a positive way, like thinking of law of attraction. And I think you do want to, like in kind of summing up his 10 tips, dream big, dream very, very big. Never think of a stumble as anything more than learning. Um, rise, giving hope to yourself and everybody around you. Start your day with the A task completed just so that you can smile and say that something got come, got moving you forward and know that you never do it alone the more that you connect with people who have accomplished what you've accomplished it helps you to get there a little faster um, I know some people find the push in struggle I'm finding the push in being hopeful and joyful I think I lived in that place of struggle for so long that I want to live in the place of of law of attraction which is above the, the worry line being hopeful joyful and um, uh, what is that saying? Uh, let go, let God. Let go, let God. Let go and then open yourselves up. Open that comfort circle as large as you possibly can to let in all options, all opportunities, and all avenues that maybe you closed yourself off to before. Have a beautiful day. I just wanted to make sure I got on here because we know I've been uh, a little lax lately, but I'm trying to get back into the habit because I don't want to let it go. Thank you, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon.